Keith, developing tonight, two teens in a stolen van are in jail facing serious charges. Police say a 15-year-old driver caused a crash that killed an innocent woman as she was heading home. Channel 2's Brittany Jeffers live off of Trulune and Joreen Drive in Sharpstown with the newest information. Brittany? Yeah, we found out from police that they believe that those two teenage armed robbery suspects blew through a stop sign right along this street before hitting and killing a woman who they say lives nearby. It was just big. It was a big impact. Yeah, it was really bad. Galilea Granda says that the sound of the crash in front of her home stopped her in her tracks. We just like saw everything from the window. At this intersection, police say an innocent driver was killed by teens in a stolen van. Just minutes before, HPD says undercover officers had their eye on the suspects. They knew the vehicle and they were observing the vehicle and watching the vehicle under surveillance. They believe the teen suspects are tied to other aggravated robberies. Uh, our attempt tonight was to apprehend them without any problem using marked units, but unfortunately, Unfortunately, they turned down true line and we were never, never, never able to, uh, to, uh, to uh, do any police action with these two suspects. Dobbin says that officers in marked units were going to make a felony traffic stop when the stolen car pulled onto Beach Nut. A neighbor shared this picture where he says that police were staged in the area. But that stop didn't happen. The car took a left on Trulon, sped through a stop sign, hitting and killing the driver of this car, who police say lived nearby. There's no safe speed to run a stop sign, and, and they blew through that stop sign. And you, tonight, we're talking about a felony murder of, of a woman who at 4 o'clock in the afternoon is driving home. The DA's office says a 15-year-old driver will be charged with felony murder, and the passenger will also likely face charges. The name of the victim hasn't been released. I can't believe that it was someone that was in the community. So police say this is still an ongoing investigation, but two big parts, two elements they're going to be looking into is exactly where that stolen van came from and the circumstances surrounding it. They will be looking into that. Uh, they also tell us that they are going to be trying to figure out exactly uh, all of those aggravated robberies that they believe that those teenagers are tied to. Of course, we will continue to check in with them and bring you the latest as we learn more. Live here in Southwest Houston, I'm Brittany Jeffers, KPRC. Channel 2 News.